हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इलेवन फ्रॉम हिबलर डायनामिक्स चैप्टर फोर्टीन द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द फोर्स ऑफ एफ इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड टू द कार्ड वन एस इक्वल्स टू टू मीटर सो एट दिस इंस्टेंट एस इज इक्वल टू टू मीटर्स एंड इट इज सेट दैट इफ द सिक्स के जी कॉलर इज ओरिजिनली एट रेस्ट determine its velocity at s equals to zero. So initially, let's say this is the initial state of this collar. So s one is equal to two meters, and the velocity v one is equal to zero meter per second. And it is said that when the collar reaches s equals to zero, find the velocity. So this is the state two. So the call when the collar reach here, let's say then s is equal to zero. This is S two, and uh, velocity v one is uh, velocity v two. We are required to determine. So when when this call reaches here, the length of the string will become one point five. That that chord will become vertical. So let's say that from from A to this point is let's say C. So if I find this A C length. so we can use this triangle so for if we consider this triangle then ac is the hypotenuse of this triangle and we can say that the length when the collar is is at s equals to 2 meters then the length of the string is equal to let me write that the length of the string the string is equal to this 1.5 square plus this s square and s is given that this length will be 2 meters if s1 is 2 and this is 2 is Zero, so s one minus s two. This is two meters. This is two meters. So this is two square under the square root, and this gives us two point five meters. Let's say that this is the initial length. This is l one. Let's see, and then when it reaches here at s equals to, when s two equals to zero, then this length is let's say l two. So this is l one. So l two is then equal to one point five meters, right? so what will happen is that this force f will be applied for the length for the change in length of this string right so initially if the force is applied from this point so this uh, chord will elongate how much so it will elongate a length of l1 minus l2 the change in the length of this chord right so the change in the length is l1 minus l2 is let me write that l1 minus l2 is equal to 2.5 minus 1.5 so this is 1 meter so this force f is will be applied for a distance of 1 meter in in this direction right so now if i consider the free body diagram of this collar so here we will have that force f the same force f is in this chord this is that force f which is 50 newton and the weight of this collar is going to act vertically downward and the weight is 6 into 9.81 and the normal force is applied on this collar as well so as we can see that the collar is moving towards the left in the horizontal direction so the weight and the normal force they are perpendicular to the displacement travel so they are not going to produce the work and only this force f in the chord is going to produce the work done so now if i apply the work energy principle so as we know that t1 plus the summation of the work done from 1 to 2 from state 1 to 2 equals to the kinetic energy at state 2 So initially v1 is zero, so the kinetic energy at state one is zero, and then only this uh, force F is going to to do the work done on this collar. So that work done is 50 multiplied by the distance traveled, or for the distance for which the force is applied. So that is one, and this is equal to half, and the mass is six, and we want to find the velocity when s equals to zero. So that will be the final state. So let's say this is v two square. So now this six divided by three um, divided by two is three, and v two square is fifty 
divided by 3 and if we take the square root then we will be able to find that velocity which we required. So, this is square root 50 divided by 3. So, this gives me velocity when s equals to 0 is 4.08. So, this is 4.08 meter per second. So, this is V2 which was required. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning. Also like this video if you people want me to continue this chapter 14 from Hibbler Dynamics.